has been very similar to Tristan's luck, except I haven't seen any jackal. So I think I might not have won this drive, not that it's a competition, but it has been spectacularly quiet. And you know it's bad when <coughs> the game drive radio is people desperately begging if anybody has any updates for them in case they've missed it. So it's very quiet everywhere. It's just one of those days, it seems to work that way. I've been entertaining myself, thinking back, because I hear Tristan's been discussing rabies with you. When the whole Sindile thing happened, there was actually a massive outbreak of rabies in Hootsprayt, which is where Brent and myself live. And Brent very sensibly decided that we needed rabies vaccines. So, because both of ours had expired. So he went off and he, he got the prescription and he got us uh, the three rabies vaccinations that you need to get each. And the first two, I mean, Brent is very good and I'm not exactly terrified of needles. Uh, Brent is very good, he's been doing it for a long time. And the first two went off without a hitch. Perfectly done, boom, into the arm, no problems. The third one, and I'm trying to remember why this was the case. The third one was in front of everybody at camp. They were all at our place for, a re for some reason, I can't remember why. And I think that made Brent a little nervous. Anyway, Brent got a little nervous and <laughs> he, um, he basically, if he'd gone any harder, it would have gone through my humerus and quite possibly into a lung. He whacked it in there so hard. <laughs> And it, it basically, it went like, it was like a, a, I don't know, like a dart. It sort of wobbles a little bit. It, it just wobbled and then stayed there. And of course it happened when absolutely everybody was looking at him. And everybody went, ooh, shame. He felt so bad. It really wasn't that big of a deal, but it does make me laugh now. Every time I think, I know rabies is no laughing matter, but the idea of rabies vaccines does make me chuckle a little bit. And of course, we've all been, all of us, those of us who are going to Kenya at least, have all been yellow fevering and meningitis and tetanus and buffing up all of our vaccines at the moment. <laughs> Shame, poor Brent. Okay, come on, there's gotta be something on this open area. Surely, surely there must be something. Um, no, there isn't. There is nothing. It is quiet, completely and utterly deserted. Just one of those days. On we go.